When you see an old bicycle left out in the rain, a ship that has sailed the seas for decades, or a bridge exposed to the elements, one of the first things you'll notice is the unmistakable reddish-orange patches eating away at the metal. That familiar sight is rust. But have you ever wondered why is rust specifically orange and not some other color like green, blue, or black? The color of rust is more than just a cosmetic detail. It reveals the chemistry happening on the surface of the metal. In this video, we'll dive into the science of rust, the chemistry behind its color, and why it almost always appears in shades of orange or reddish brown. Let's explore right here on History of Simple Things. To start, rust forms when iron reacts with oxygen and water. Iron, being a reactive metal, doesn't like to stay pure for long when exposed to the atmosphere. Oxygen molecules in the air combine with moisture to start the oxidation process. This reaction creates a compound known as iron oxide, which is what we commonly call rust. The orange-red color is not an accident, it's a direct result of the type of iron oxide that forms. Specifically, the flaky and porous rust we often see is usually hydrated iron-3 oxide. The color of this compound tends to be within the orange-red spectrum because of how its electrons absorb and reflect light. You see, color in chemical compounds is often a matter of electron transitions. When light hits a substance, some wavelengths are absorbed while others are reflected back to our eyes. The ones reflected are what we perceive as color. In the case of rust, the arrangement of iron atoms bonded with oxygen alters how the electrons move between energy levels. The reflected light comes back to us in those distinctive orange and reddish tones. This is why, no matter where you go, whether it's a rusty nail in your backyard or the hull of a massive cargo ship, the rust will nearly always appear somewhere in the orange to reddish-brown family of colors. But rust doesn't always look identical. Sometimes it can be bright orange, other times a deep reddish-brown, and occasionally even leaning toward yellow or dark brown. Why the variation? The answer lies in the specific conditions of its formation. When iron corrodes slowly in the presence of just moisture and air, you'll typically get the classic bright orange rust. However, if the rusting happens under different environmental conditions, like in salt water, polluted air, or very wet environments, the structure and hydration of the iron oxides can change. Different forms of iron oxides exist, such as hematite, magnetite, and gothite, each with slightly different shades. These variations explain why rust on an ocean pier might look darker than rust on a garden shovel. But despite these differences, the overall color range still hovers around orange to red because of the fundamental chemistry of iron oxides. Now here's something fascinating. Not all corroded metals turn orange. Copper, for instance, develops a green patina when it oxidizes, as you might see on old statues or the Statue of Liberty. Aluminum forms a dull gray oxide layer. So why does iron's oxide have to be orange? The answer again comes back to electron interactions and how atoms are arranged in the crystal structure of the oxide. Iron oxides reflect light differently than copper oxides or aluminum oxides. In copper's case, its oxide absorbs different wavelengths, reflecting back the greenish-blue tones. Aluminum oxide, on the other hand, tends to be colorless or whitish because it reflects most visible light evenly. But iron oxide reflects in the reddish spectrum, giving rust its iconic orange-brown look. Another important point to note is that rust is porous and flaky, unlike some other oxides that form a protective layer. For instance, Aluminum oxide adheres tightly to the surface of aluminum, creating a thin but protective film that prevents further corrosion. That's why aluminum doesn't rust through. But with iron, 
the orange rust layer doesn't seal off the underlying metal. Instead, it cracks and flakes away, exposing more fresh iron underneath. This is why rust can keep spreading and why old iron objects eventually crumble. The very color of rust is a sign of this weakness. That soft orange hue signals a fragile structure compared to the darker, stronger appearance of protective oxides on other metals. The orange tone of rust also has a cultural and symbolic impact. When people see rust, they often think of decay, neglect, and time passing. The warm, earthy shade of orange reminds us of autumn leaves or desert sands. But in the context of metal, it signals loss and destruction. It's interesting how color can shape our perception of materials. Engineers and architects design coatings and paints specifically to keep rust's orange tones from appearing, not just to protect the metal, but also because that color sends a message of weakness and age. Beyond symbolism, rust's color has been studied carefully by scientists to detect and monitor corrosion. Because rust has distinct optical properties, researchers use spectroscopic techniques to analyze how light interacts with it. By looking at how rust reflects certain wavelengths, they can determine the type of iron oxide present and even measure the extent of corrosion. In other words, the color isn't just cosmetic, it's a useful scientific tool for understanding how much damage has occurred. One might ask, could rust ever appear in a completely different color? Under some very unusual conditions, Iron oxides can form darker shades that appear almost black or even greenish, but these are rare and usually involve other elements mixing in. The most common everyday rust you'll encounter stays true to that classic orange to red palette. That's because the chemistry of iron and oxygen naturally produces these compounds, and their light absorption and reflection patterns fall within that range. So the next time you pass by a rusty railing, see an abandoned car, or spot the orange streaks on a weathered steel bridge, you'll know that color isn't random. It's the visible signature of iron and oxygen bonding together, electrons jumping between energy levels, and light reflecting back into our eyes. Rust is orange because chemistry makes it that way. And that orange color tells the story of how metal battles against the relentless forces of nature. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.